Hey, beautiful people, beautiful people. Good job back again, once again, out in nature, just out in front of apartments or whatnot. I wanted to talk about something real quick because a lot of people will look at me and they'll be like, Doc, why did you decide to get married? Like, period. Why? You know what I'm saying? Young man, relatively young. You have all the girls, whatever the fuck accessible young ladies in the Philippines. Why did you decide to say I do? Now, for anybody who's been following this channel for a long time, you would have known that the first time I ever came to the Philippines, I was 17 years old, right? It would be roughly about my junior year of high school. First time I ever came. I officially moved to the Philippines in July of 2006, right after I graduated uh, high school. Now, as a young man, you know, I got to enjoy myself. I got to enjoy the experience of being in the Philippines. And uh, I really got to, you know, spend my time around and just chill and have the time of my life and stuff. At some point, there's only so much fun a man can have. Now, a lot of people may agree or disagree with this part because they be like, yo, man, I could be a player for life, a baller for life, man, never get married, multiple girlfriends and all that stuff. And that works for a lot of people. But for me, the way I felt is eventually all of this shit has to lead to something, right? The player lifestyle to an extent doesn't really lead to much. Don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure it's fun as hell. But I've heard a lot of people say... And I was watching a um, interv not an interview, but like a um, conversation between uh, Sneeko and Abba from Abba and Preach. And Abba was trying to explain to him that even new pussy or new young ladies gets old, right? And it wasn't registering. But everything he said, it, it, it resonated with me because even though I had a plethora of access to of young ladies at my disposal during my tenure in the Philippines, it was kind of like, yo, man, that shit kind of got old to me, right? It got old to be that guy. It did, right? And at some point, things in your life change, right? Things in your life change. What do I mean? Your motivations change. Your your energy changes. The things that you're looking forward to getting into change. Your future. It all changes. And it got to the point where I was like, look, man, it's nice to, you know, be alone and potentially build on my own. But wouldn't it be better to build with somebody if you could? Right? Wouldn't it be better to be able to build something with somebody if you could? So for me, when I started thinking like that, it really did not necessarily say, oh, Doc got to get a girlfriend or Doc's got to get a wife, but it motivated me to find somebody that I could potentially build with. That was where the energy came from, getting with somebody you can potentially build with, right? And it didn't necessarily have to be that the young lady had a great educational degree, again, during that time, I will say that was a criteria for myself, an educated Filipina. That was what I wanted. But that doesn't necessarily have to be a do or die or make or break because you have some young ladies who come from situations where, you know, they probably can't go to college and stuff like that, but they still have a hell of a work ethic, right? So it wasn't necessarily a deal breaker if you weren't. Because I knew quite a few young ladies that were, like, awesome, right? And they may not have had a college education, but, you know, for me, it just got to the point where, in, you know, at, at some point, bro, you just get tired. You know, you just get tired. And like I said, you can have as much fun as humanly possible. But eventually, and all men go through this, whether they want to tell you or not, all men go through this part. Right? That moment where you like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Right? It sounds fun. And in the beginning, trust me, man, it's the funnest thing in the fucking world. But at some point... It's like, bro, where, 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 what do we do next, right? Now, if you're an older gentleman, a veteran, and you know, a veteran or whatnot, and you're living your best life, maybe you may not see it because your last few years, you're just trying to spend them doing whatever the fuck you want. But when you're younger, like me, I came into the Philippines at a young age. I came into the Philippines at a pivotal point in my life, right? Just coming into manhood, you know, turning 18 and all that shit. So 
I had a chance to enjoy myself prior to all of that shit, but then I grew up. I basically grew up in the Philippines. I came in at a pivotal point in my life. Now I'm growing up. Now I'm sharing in experiences. Now I'm experiencing new things. These experiences led me to the point where I was like, all right, Philippines is awesome. I love it here. I wish I could live here forever. But just in case I cannot at the moment, wouldn't it be nice to find somebody to build with? That was the mentality, right? And that's kind of what led me to where I am today. Got a young lady that I'm trying to build with, you know? And yes, we're in the United States, y'all. It's fun out here. I fuck with it. I mean, I don't necessarily plan on being here forever. But it's fun nonetheless, right? Fun nonetheless. I see my stuff starting to act up. But y'all get the point, man. Um, That's the reason I decided to get married. Right? Because even new pussy get old, bro. <laughs> I love it when my man said it because a lot of people... They don't see it that way. But you can deal with a whole bunch of new girls and all that stuff, and that might work for somebody. But at some point, it's like, look, find somebody to build with. Because a string of meaningless relationships, if you have them, they lead to nothing, right? Again, I may be in the minority when I say it, but I'm just telling you that's how I feel, right? You can have a string of relationships that lead to nothing, and you're fine. But I am not. <laughs> All right. I am not. Man, I'm going to let y'all go and get the get and my camera looks like it's starting to fuck up. Anywho, y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc is out. Peace.